In this video tutorial, we are going to build the chart that you see on your screen. The interesting thing about this chart is that it has two legends and the second one uses a custom WPF template for its layout panel. This allows its size and layout to be changed dynamically. We create an empty WPF project and name it Bar Chart. We drag and drop the bar chart control from the toolbox. We have installed the charting component for WPF and we have all available chart types as items in the toolbox in Visual Studio. We add three class variables, one double collection and two brush collections. The double collection contains the numbers from 1 to 12. They correspond to the 12 bars that our chart will render. The first brush collection contains 12 solid color brushes and the strokes collection contains one white brush. The white brush will be used for outlining the bars. Let's first give our chart an ID. We call it Bar Chart 1. Then, in the Code Behind file, we need to remove all predefined series from the series collection of the bar chart. Then, we create a new Bar Series instance. This is the class that provides data for bar charts. We add a new visual effect to the bar chart. There are several effects to choose from. Then we assign the data collection that we've created with the numbers from 1 to 12 to the xData property of the bar series. We assign a double collection with the data to the yData. This is the direct way to give data to a bar series. You can use also data binding, which is demonstrated in MindFusion's other videos about WPF chart. We assign the strokes and brushes lists that we've created to the strokes and fills properties of bar series and we add the series to the series collection. Now if we run the application we should be able to see the chart. Here it is. We add now another bar series which is identical to the first one, the only difference being in the Y data values. If we run the application we can see the two series, side by side. That's because the default layout for bar charts is vertical. We will change it to vertical overlay using the bar type property. Here is our chart. Let's add the 12 months of the year as labels at the x-axis. We set the months as lists to the labels property of the x-axis. We also set the axis label type to be custom text. We now have two options. The first one is to render the custom labels at the intervals of the axis. The second one is to render the labels at the data points. We choose the latter. For it to work, we must assign the x-axis property of at least one series to be the x-axis that will render the labels. This is done so that the control knows where to search for data points. Here are our labels. We also increase the interval on the x-axis and change the rotation of its title label. Let's finish customizing the chart by adding a light gray border around the plot area. Here 
Here is our chart. We are finished with it and we are ready to add a legend. This first legend that we will add is a chart legend. There are two types of legends supported by the WPF chart control and they are chart legend and series legend. The chart legend takes the legend labels from the title property of the series that are assigned to it through its series property. In our sample we assign the list with all bar series and here is legend which renders two items. The color for each item is taken from the first brush in the fields collection of the series. In our case, both brushes are the same and the legend items are not colored very informatively, but this type of legend is suitable for series with uniform color. The second type of legend is series legend. This legend gives us complete freedom over the colors and labels that will be used. They are provided through properties, so we can assign them to anything we want. We add the series legend to the legends collection. You can have unlimited number of legends in the chart from both types. We dock this legend to the bottom and here is our chart. The legend is visible but it is a long column at the bottom. The legend container is items control and the items are just arranged one under the other. We could add two legends and split the labels between them. When docked at the same side they will render next to each other. But WPF allows us to do something better. We will override the template for the items control that represents the legend and we will customize its width. We add a template for the series legend where we insert a wrap panel that will wrap the items control, which renders the legend items. We can change its orientation and max width or max height properties to adjust the legend size to our preferences. We can go a step further. We can bind the width of the wrap panel to the width of the bar chart. We use the Find Ancestor mode of the binding object and set the ancestor type to be the bar chart. Now our legend changes its size together with the size of the chart. And that's the end of this video tutorial. Thank you for watching and thank you for your interest in Mind Fusion Developer Tools.